Okay, here we are again. I'm Joe and I'm with Mr. Scott Eddy, at Mr. Scott Eddy on Twitter if you're following. So um, we are back with Scott and I wanted to ask you, you know, a lot of people think of you as the go-to guy on travel related things in Thailand, around the world, and you're kind of known for um, having the connections with hotels and travel photographers and whatnot. So, you know, what about someone who's never been to Thailand? I remember when I first came here, I was a little bit overwhelmed. There's so many islands, there's so many beaches. Where would you tell a newbie to go that they would have like a really nice time just experiencing Thailand? I mean, it, it's, it all depends what you want, you know? I sure. mean, if you're a really newbie, uh, like, you know, traveling isn't your thing and you're not like, that sophisticated and sure. you're not comfortable and you still need somewhat of an infrastructure mm -hmm. I would say definitely you know Samui or Phuket or okay. something like that just to ease into the process because you can still get down there sure. and do day trips and you know you can rough it a little bit and ride the elephants and things like that you know it's just it's you easy. can get away out, out into the nature now what about someone who doesn't need infrastructure my favorite place in Thailand is Koh Tao, Koh Tao okay. I think that it's absolutely it's heaven on earth mm -hmm. i mean it's it's like you're walking in a national geographic video it's beautiful it's, it's perfect so koh tao is on the gulf side yes right right next to koh Phangan. yes all right okay so if you're coming to thailand it's on the gulf of thailand near koh samui so what where do you like to stay when you go to koh tao where it, is there a lot of uh, options to go or there's tons of options they every five feet there's a different little you know guest house and hotel and villas sure. and and this and that and they have everything from one star to seven stars sure so I mean and you just, never get tired of it no you've been go come how long have you been going to Kotel oh I've been in Thailand since 99 so I mean it's it's an 15. amazing place awesome now what about like nightlife or having a good time is there any do you like to go to the islands to do that? Do you like to go to a certain place or just all over? My favorite place, if I have a choice when I want to party and travel at the same time, sure. I would go to Nikki Beach, either in Phuket or in Samui. Now what's Nikki Beach? Nikki Beach is a, I guess, I guess the concept originally came from Europe, the old sure. European type beach club, but Nikki Beach really, they took that brand and made it luxurious and they, they care about their brand so much. It's like, it's pristine, perfect. Every Nikki Beach that you go to oh and I God. think they have 12 of them in the world. Sure, oh my God. So Nick, where's Nikki Beach from? Do you know where they're Miami. based at? Out of Miami, yeah. wonderful. So what about, um, you know, ASEAN's coming next year, right? Yes. So we're gonna be, ASEAN, Thailand's gonna be part of ASEAN, traveling all the 10 ASEAN countries. Where do you like to travel outside of Thailand when you get a chance? Do you do, you do that a lot or what's, what's your travel uh, schedule like? Unfortunately, I don't get to do it as much as I want. Sure. Um, I do frequent Hong Kong and Singapore quite often. Uh, Macau every once in a while. Last year I spent 10 months in Manila. Sure. Uh, so, you know, that was kind of interesting. It, it's, I love, it was my first time in the Philippines and I really like going to a new country especially yeah. where I don't know a lot of people mm -hmm. so you so you're sort of forced sure. to make new to friends new and meet new people sure. which I'm addicted to yeah and you know learn about their cultures and just everything it's very very cool how did you feel about um, coming from Thailand where you're so used to Thai culture and the Thai smile and everything going to the Philippines was it like a culture shock for you did you how did you compare the two the Philippines I would basically describe it's an amazing amazing country uh, unfortunately, in those 10 months, and it sounds crazy, but I didn't get to go to the oh islands at all. I was in meetings every day, sure. and on the weekends that I was free, I flew back here uh, for meetings here. Sure. So I would, I would venture to guess that the Philippines, the mindset, and, and the way of life over there, it's like America being in Asia. Sure. They have every fast food we have at home. Everybody speaks English. It's it's like being in America, sure. to be honest. Now, since you have all these connections with travel um, and all these, you have a, a firm uh, base of travel audience. 
how do you how do you use that? How do you capitalize on on your travel, or what do you do? How are you involved in the travel industry? Is maybe what I want to say. I'm not I'm not involved in the travel industry per se. Okay. Uh, for the past three years is really when I've built up my Twitter following. I've I've concentrated much more on being a aggregator of good content. Sure. Um, and you know I haven't monetized my social media following if you say okay. at all okay um, the only way I do monetize it is that I get contacted a lot sure for public speaking engagements and for private consulting okay. things that I drive uh, doing digital campaigns which I drive to my digital agency that I sure. own and you know things like that but and just making new friends sure but there isn't any direct correlation where you know the IR ROI is like I can equate it to yeah. it's exactly this because it's not. So you you have become sort of like um, reading all these um, blogs, checking all this content, being able to discern um, with your eye, and then you can use that uh, in consultancy or whatever in that in that way. Absolutely. You know, sure. it's just based on my experience. You know, yeah. that being ten years. Uh, you know, on Wall Street, so to speak, sure. uh, owning a venture capital company, owning four other marketing companies here before I launched the digital sure. agency and just doing private consulting. Just, you know, a consultant is nothing more than someone who knows a lot about a specific subject and has a lot of life yeah, experience. Yeah, exactly. That's and it. an expert in that subject. That's it. I, yeah. I mean, it's not, that's why you don't see any 17 year old consultants. <laughs> It's a consultant is someone who has a lot of life experience and they're very smart in one particular area. That's it. Exactly. Um, what about um, as far as like uh, if someone I know a lot. What do you think people come to Thailand these days? I think that Thailand has a very good reputation for being just easy. Everything about Thailand, about the culture, about the language, about the food, about traveling, about everything. It's just a very easy place to come, to visit, to, to meet you know, people. Do anything. Absolutely. Business. The people you meet here are they're unbelievable. They're one of a sure. kind. It's amazing. What would you give an advice to someone who is starting off um, and they, they're interested in doing something like you're doing, okay? Uh, making connections, meeting people. Um, being involved in social media, creating a name for themselves. Is there anything that you could tell us about the secret to your success and being able to to create that what you've been able to, to do? The only secret, I have two things that I concentrate on more than anything else in my life. I make sure that my content is readable and lovable and shareable. Sure. And I give much, much, much more than I take. Okay. And you know, if you do that, you're going to be successful at anything. And you can make someone love you in 30 seconds, correct? <laughs> okay. That's the word on the street. <laughs> <laughs> and are you single? For the ladies out there who might be watching this. I'm not. I have a girlfriend. Okay. Well, this is going on YouTube, so check back in five <laughs> years. Let's see what's going on. Thank you so much, Swadi Kab. Mr. Scott Eddie.